Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to make a simple 3D game using Construct 3 in under 10 minutes. So, without further ado, let's get started. As you might have known, Construct 3 recently released its new 3D capabilities. It's pretty good and you can make some pretty decent games with it. So today, I'll be showing you how to make um, an unblock me game clone, but it's in 3D. So first we'll be making uh, a new project, so I'll just name this 3D game. And you can just choose whatever settings you like, I'll just let it stay like that. Click create. Now, I'll, uh, I'll, if we have this, first we'll zoom out a bit just to see the overview. And right click and insert a new 3D object. So if we see there's a new 3D object, we won't import a sprite, but instead a 3D object. Now I just name this whatever you like, I'll just name this blocks and press insert. Now you might see you have uh, these things, there's a back, front, left, right and top and bottom. So if I just exit out for a second here, as you can see, yeah, we have this 3D object and there are these faces, as you can see. So uh, there's three other there and there's two. So if we click back in again. So as you can see, the front here, so that's this side here, that's 6. So it's like that. So the left will be here, as you can see. So that's how it works. So if we're going to make uh, a simple uh, solid color, we need the light to be brightest here and have shadows in these areas. So what I'll do is uh, choose a color. You can choose a color palette as well, but it's fine for now. I'll just take this square sh um, uh, rectangle tool and just make and just fill it in. Now I'll use the same color, just darken it a bit and just put that in the front. Oh, actually I messed up already. So I'll go into the front first of all, pick a light color and then just fill that whole thing in. Now you fill in, uh, take these sides and just take a darker color like this and also just do the same thing basically so like that that and the top will also be like this and the bottom it doesn't really about matter about this one but still do it just in case and same with this now if you exit out as you can see we have this weird looking uh, cube so you can make this look a bit better by just making this a bit lighter so it blends in together nicely so just do that now, as you can see that's a bit too bright so maybe this fine yep so now we'll just fill this in and if we exit out now it looks decent and i think this is fine for now now we'll be making our another 3d object this will be our walls so just do the same thing create now you have the same thing you can choose a different color so i'll be choosing uh let's say blue here i like this kind of blue choose a lighter color go to your front and just fill this in like that now just choosing a slightly darker color so it just blends in together nicely fill that in like so and we're on our bottom now so we'll also fill that in and last one right if we exit out now and zoom in as you can see we have another 3d object so we'll be making our walls now so like that so one thing you can notice if we just uh play this game right now uh as you can see our it does look like 3d but the perspective it's not that good so you can go to layout and recently concert they just added a new feature for 3d it's called vanishing point so if we set it to 100 as you can see the these um these uh 3d objects um uh, face towards a different camera angle the camera angle doesn't actually change but it looks like that so we can change it to something like 100 by 100 i like that you can also try 200 by 200 but that's obviously a bit weird so i think 100 and 100 is fine by now now we'll be taking this and then just doing this so 
so now I'll just be making the walls here. Uh, so we'll just be pressing control and you can press control and duplicate so I'll be doing that now I'll just be zooming in here and just making sure it's matching up here uh, I think that's good for now you won't be able to notice anyway and also we only have 10 minutes so. uh, just doing this and actually it's quite a good idea to turn grid snapping here, I think. Duplicate that and put that there. Oops. Yeah, we didn't need that anyway, so get rid of that. Okay, that's not perfect, but it's fine for now. Uh, I can just make this a bit easier. Uh, here, this is fine for now. And actually, I think I'll just... Turn grid snapping on again and then just move this a bit here and drag this like that there we go I'll just be doing this instead I guess now uh, we'll just make this a uh, tiny right I think like this this is fine for now now I think you can see already uh, that the you would like to change the height of some things so that's also easy you could go to your 3d object of the choice and just set the z height to something appropriate so i'll set it to something like 10 for now and select these things oh my goodness okay i think i'll change the vanishing point here to 50 because it's fine for now and then just move this right there so, I'll just be adding a behavior to this. This will be our eight direction movement. Um, actually, no. I'll add the platforming behavior. No, actually, never mind. The eight direction is fine. Uh, I'll just be setting uh, the directions to four, the uh, angles to no, no angles, and then just disable the default controls. Now, we'll be adding keyboard here and go into our event sheet and go into our keyboard now we will do on key pressed choose any key of your choice i'll just choose right for now and now if we go to add action blocks search for vector y you can see vector and vector x so if we're pressing right in the 3d space we want our uh, we want our blocks to go in like in the left so we'll set the vector x here to something like 50 just for testing and seeing it actually works so if we just play as you can see we actually move in the correct direction so that's always good so I'll just set it to 100 now I'll just be making a global variable it will be a string this will be called direction I'll just name this dir for now the initial value will be, will be oh it doesn't matter the initial value you can just set it later now Instead of setting the vector y, we'll just set the value of our variable. So direction or dir will be right, not, not 8. So right. And then we'll be going to add event, compare. So compare variable. And checking if our direction is equal to right. If it is, just set the vector x to 100 to 100 now if we play press x sorry press right as you can see we're moving and the perspective obviously changes so 300 now we'll be just we'll just be copying this three more times to incorporate all the four directions and then we'll just do left set it to left at uh, the variable to left and then checking if the variable here is equal to left and then just setting our vector y to minus 300 instead of 300. Now checking if we have pressed the up arrow. Setting this to up. So like that. Now we'll be checking if our direction is equal to up. And instead of changing our vector y. Changing our vector x. And setting it to minus 300. Because in construct minus means up. I'm pretty sure. 
if we just check yep there we go we're going up and just the last thing we need to do and checking and setting it to down and checking up our direction is equal to down if it is down setting our vector uh, y here so like this go here setting it to mine uh, 300 only now you can change the speed if you'd like and I will do that so I think this should work okay well, I think 1000 is fine I'll just check um, this out so just playing it pressing right and yes that is fine oh actually it's not the reason the speed is not being affected here is because if you go to blocks you can see the max speed is only 200 so you can set it to uh, I say 500 and just play the speed will now be increased by 100 and I think that is fine for now so now we have this we can for testing uh, create multiple instance of these and also adding the solid behavior to this so they can collide with each other now if we also actually before we play add the solid behavior to our walls that will be our main thing done basically so if we play as you can see they're interacting with, e with each other and okay so the down doesn't work right now the reason is that because it's setting the vector x i forgot to change it so here now that we have all of this done we need to just arrange these these uh blocks in a like some kind of pattern just to see if it works perfectly so i think i uh, will be doing this something like this just press play now and if we just do this as you can see they're moving with each other and it's basically like the okay now this is a definitely a problem as you can see so we can move diagonally which we, we don't want that so in the a direction we'll not, we'll not be doing that we'll just be doing um so what we uh what can we do here mm, we can do um, okay i don't think we can solve that for now we can but it will take more than 10 minutes but it's fine for now you can fix it later so i'll just be arranging them in the perfect order so they don't mm, get messed up like that i think that's fine also just changing this so now we just need to make an opening for our block to actually and exit out so we only want one block to get out not all of them so what i'll be doing here is for our first level just doing this and if we play as you can see we can go here okay so i know the problem here we need our acceleration to be uh, quite high and also a deceleration to be basically instantaneous because we don't want any type of slowing down or slowing or basically like that basic so now if we okay um, can't move for some reason oh I think it's because it's so I think yes that's fine for now we'll just be playing it okay can't move now don't know what that's the case uh okay setting our dec acceleration to 1000 okay now play okay it's better as you can see so just setting our deceleration to something a lot higher i think 5000 should be enough now we will just play perfect now you're already seeing you can make some pretty cool games with concert 3's 3d feature so what i'll be doing is just making a quick level and finishing up, up this video so like that
Now as you can see, we can play it. Obviously it's a bit scuffed because I didn't arrange the blocks properly. But that can, that can always be fixed by using some kind of grid snapping. So like that, like that, and like that. Should be working now. If I just play here. As you can see, they don't get messed up here. And you can actually escape. I'll just be decreasing the size here. Just by that much. And now our game should be finished if we just play it. There we go. Now we want our ga we want to only move when we're stationary and not move when the blocks are moving. That's pretty simple to add. We can just go to our uh, uh, we can go to our code here, right click, add another condition, go to our blocks. And just search is moving. You can press I to invert and do the same thing with these. So now we will only be able to move if we're pressing the keys and our player is not moving, meaning it's stationary. So if we just play now, now we'll be able to not move. Perfect. Okay, so now it's not moving. Um, Oh, my bad. Just doing this here. Like that. Now we should be able to move. Okay, it's not working, but that's the basically premise of what we need to do here. Um, not sure why it's not working actually. Because it should be working. Let's try that again. Okay, I don't know why it's not working. But yeah, you can just add to your game. But this is the basically template of your game. You can add backgrounds and stuff like that. And to progress to the next level, you can add a trigger here, a sprite, or something like that, or just check the position, and then if the position or is colliding with the sprite, you can just move on to the next level. That's it for today, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and please tell me if you want to see more types of uh, Concert 3 3D features, I will surely make them. Bye!